sociopath and a narcissist. And that's a combination that's obviously proved quite deadly. New tonight, the former brother-in-law of Robert Durst opens up for the first time after learning prosecutors are reopening the cold case into his sister's disappearance. Robert Durst, who's on trial in California for the murder of his best friend, has long been suspected of also killing his wife, Kathy, some four decades ago. And now her family has renewed hope after learning her disappearance has just been reclassified as a murder. And so Tara Rosenblum broke that story first, is now speaking exclusively with that brother. That's a picture of my sister, Kathy. She was the baby of the family. She was special. Kathy Durst's brother, Jim McCormick, is leading his family's fight for justice. Do you have any doubt who killed your sister? Not absolutely none. Bob Durst killed my sister. But after nearly four decades of anguish. The pain never goes away. He now believes the legal system is closing in on his infamous brother-in-law, real estate scion and suspected serial killer, Robert Durst. The McCormick family wants desperately to have this thing finally brought to at least a charge. Kathy McCormick Durst vanished from her South Salem cottage in Westchester County back in 1982. The case dormant nearly two decades. But now the Westchester County DA is reopening the investigation as a murder. The family obviously wants and needs closure. I feel hopeful that she will you know, move as quickly as possible. Opening up for the first time since the DA's probe, McCormick describes how his younger sister's disappearance shattered their tight-knit New Jersey family. I still remember, she was the first baby I ever held in my arms. And Jim, seven years older, was like her second dad, the two bonding over fishing trips at Truesdale Lake. And we just go over things, uh, her dreams, her aspirations. The model turned medical student was just 19 years old when she met Robert Durst. What was your first impression of Robert when you met him? But he was just shy. So Jim claims him. that shyness eventually morphed into violence, saying he even witnessed the abuse firsthand at a Christmas gathering in 1981. He walked over to her and grabbed her by the hair, top the top of her hair like this, and yanked her, and she went with that pull. In my grandmother's, her eyes were as big as pizza pies. I still remember that. She grabbed her coat, and she goes, literally, turns to me, it's okay, Jimmy. And that was the last time Jim McCormick saw his sister alive. I mean, that's in my heart for the rest of my life. It's okay, Jimmy. Two weeks later, these hospital records obtained by News 12 show Kathy in the emergency room, where a doctor observed a history of blunt trauma to the left side of her face after another alleged domestic abuse incident. Jim says the most heartbreaking discovery would come after her disappearance when he read her diary. Kathy wrote that Robert forced her to get an abortion in 1976. On the way to the abortion, he threw water on her head. According to Jim, his sister was meeting with lawyers in the early 80s, planning to divorce Durst, but then she disappeared. In the early days, I would cry and cry and cry. It wasn't until two months after she was gone, Jim suspected Robert had killed her. It was the day he went to their South Salem home to collect his sister's belongings. He was stunned at what he found. Oh, her personal effects were all gone. There was nothing up there. And what did Robert say? Like, what did he say when you walked in the house? He was very, very cold. Nearly 40 years later, the motion was filed. Robert Durst is on trial in California for the murder of his best friend, Susan Berman. In this trial, the disappearance of Kathy plays a pivotal role as prosecutors make the case that Susan knew too much, providing a possible motive for Durst to kill her. Do you believe Susan knew exactly what happened to your baby sister? Yes, Susan knew exactly what happened to my baby sister. How do you know? I knew that Susan had enough, uh, I don't hate to use the word control, but influence of Bob. After Susan's murder, Durst fled to Texas, where he was accused. Not guilty. And acquitted of killing his neighbor in 2001. Is Robert Durst a serial killer? I think he's more of a killer who's out to protect Bob Durst. And if you just happen to be in the wrong place at the wrong time, and he discovered that you are a danger to him, then you're gone. 
Well, Durst has repeatedly claimed to have no involvement in Kathy's disappearance. His attorney has not returned our calls for comment. So to learn more about Kathy and Robert Durst's story, you can use your phone's camera to scan the QR code on your screen or head to news12.com and click on the Turn to Tara tab.